DP here from Slow Ride Road Trip. Welcome. Today I'm doing a review on the RV Ready Champion 3400 watt dual fuel inverter generator. We'll start with some key features, then we'll head outside to look it over and start her up. This 3400 watt generator is perfect for emergency home backup power, RVs, remote job sites, camping, and even tailgating. The generator is 50 state emissions compliant and boosts one of the longest warranties in the industry at three years and it has a long list of other great features. At the top of the list is dual fuel. This unit will run on gas or liquid propane. Having this ability is a big plus. In the event of a natural disaster or anything that knocks out the power, your fuel sources may be limited. Having the two options will give you some alternatives versus gas alone. Let's talk a little about pros and cons of both fuels. First, LP benefits. Easy storage. An LP tank can set idle for up to 30 years without going bad or any maintenance at all. Decide on how much you want to keep on hand, put it in the storage shed or garage, and forget about it. Ambient temperatures for LP also are not a problem. LP burns cleaner, which means less emissions and longer engine life. And LP has a runtime of almost double that of gas. A 20 pound propane tank will run 14 and a half hours on the economy mode. The availability is less than that of gas, but more and more businesses like grocery stores, convenience stores, hardware stores now have tank exchange programs making it much more available than it was in the past. LP produces slightly fewer watts than gas. Gas has 3,400 starting watts. LP is at 3,060 starting watts. Gas, 3,100 running watts. And LP comes in at 2,790 running watts. It makes little difference in what you can and cannot run with the numbers being so close together. Pros of gas. Readily available. Produces a few more watts. Again, not much more than LP. Cons of gas. Definitely not storage friendly. Gas can go bad after just a few months unless you treat it with a stabilizer or rotate your supply. Not near as friendly to store as LP. Another problem with gas if the carb isn't ran dry and the unit sets for more than a couple weeks without use, the carburetor can gum up or varnish, which creates starting and running problems, which can also lead to costly repairs. Another top feature, this is an inverter type generator. That means this unit puts out clean, safe power for your sensitive electronics like cell phones, computers, and TVs. Open frame generators have voltage spikes that can harm your small electronic devices. The inverter cleans up the electrical waves to deliver clean, safe power. Also, the inverter generator adjusts the speed of the engine depending on power demand. This not only saves fuel, but also makes it run quieter. A traditional generator runs one speed no matter what the demand is. Now let's head outside and take a look at the box and see what's inside. As you can see, the box is well labeled with descriptions, picture references, and also some warnings on there. Inside the box, you see up at the top there and all the way around has sturdy corrugated cardboard and underneath that is wrapped in a vapor barrier. We've got everything out of the box, so let's take a Take a look here and see what all comes with this unit. Of course, the unit itself comes with, of course, your standard packet of information. See what all is in here. First thing you're going to want to use is this quick start guide. And I went through most of the manuals, excellent manual. 
has a uh, right on the front of the cover it has the registration.com address and the serial number you're, you would need to do that so pretty handy plus a watch line to call in on very good manual here's the loose components that are in the box it's your DC adapter it's got uh, dual USB ports on there to hook up for a cell phone charge a computer or whatnot which goes down here the cigarette lighter style plug in comes with a special oil funnel has this long reach to get in the back I'll show you that in a minute also has the hose regulator assembly plus this plastic clip for holding it storing it out of place so that you can uh, find it when you get ready to use the generator it'll be with the unit very nice feature the unit has great portability see it has never flat type wheels which are already installed and with the unit so it's already assembled that way also this stowaway handle which is awesome for moving this thing around it really works great so champions uh, thinking about our backs when they're putting this thing together of course there's two handles you can see here for uh, moving around or if you've got a helper and you want to set it up in the back of your pickup or whatever you need to do to move it around good sturdy handles looking at the front of the unit you have your pull cord in the case that your battery's not charged and you can't use your electric start Here's your fuel selector switch in this position here. There's your coupler to hook up your propane hose. Switch down here. You're ready to run gasoline. Here's your choke. Your electric start button. On, off. Economy mode feature. In the economy mode feature, you're going to run uh, less emissions. The engine runs a lot slower and of course you're going to use less fuel and it's going to be much quieter so very nice feature champion added there indicator lights this top one is low oil and the unit also comes with a shutdown feature if the oil gets too low overload is the middle light that means you've got too much uh, hooked up to it you're trying to run too many things so again it'll disconnect uh, so you don't hurt the unit and then the bottom is just green showing everything's an all go here's your 30 amp RV ready plug in your battery on and off switch you see there in the on position the lights on if that light doesn't come on then that means your battery is either not hooked up or it's not charged. 30 amp breaker for your RV ready plug-in. 20 amp breaker for your two home style plug-ins for 120 volt. This is for parallel hookup. If you want to hook two units together, it does not come with uh, the parallel adapter. That's something you have to buy separately. Here's that DC plug-in for your cigarette style plug-in. has a UBS ports. And then it also has a circuit breaker. Down here then is your ground that you connect to the earth. I like the way they have this laid out. Everything's really easy to get to. So uh, hats off to Champion for making a very nice user-friendly front panel on this end where the handle stowaway handle is you have your exhaust you're going to want to keep your fuels or anything else away from this area of course because it gets real hot there's a sticker here that says to keep uh, anything five feet away from it all the way around the entire unit on the opposite end of the unit here's the compartment that your battery is in uh, you just take these two screws off connect the two terminals on the battery the positive and negative and, and you're ready to go 
On the opposite side of the control panel, you have this compartment, which is held in by two screws. This is where you get access to uh, add oil or drain your oil, check the oil, uh, and other maintenance you may need to do are through there. So I'll pop that off real quick. Here's what you see with the compartment door off. Nice easy access to your dipstick here to check your oil and also this is where you would put your oil in using your extended funnel which is uh, why they send that along. So that's uh, the purpose of that and it works great. Perfect. Then if you need to change your oil Pull this off here, get the unit up in the air a little ways, and uh, take a plastic bottle or something, put this hose down in there, and uh, it just gravity feeds to drain the used oil in there. So, excellent feature, pretty much a tool free operation to change the oil. So, Champion uh, again is thinking about taking care of their customer and making this a very user-friendly job to do when you change that oil. Okay, we're going to start it up. We're going to run it on propane today using the electric start. Got the propane valve shut off. Uh, we've got it hooked into the coupler for propane. So let's see what happens here. I'm going to switch this battery on, and pull the choke, turn the valve on at the propane tank, and start it up. Didn't need much choke. Easily had a conversation with somebody standing just a little ways away from it. In the economy mode. And I kick it up. Turn the economy mode off. Ramps up. Still pretty quiet. And they can still have a conversation fairly close to the end. I'm just talking at a regular voice. So let's go ahead and shut it down. propane, we have to shut the valve off, I shut off the battery, switch the electric start to off, it still won't shut down, what you have to do is start it with fuel, turn off the valve with the tank, and there you have it. There's my review of the Champion 3400 watt dual fuel inverter generator. If you'd like more information on this unit, price, availability, check my description below. This is DP from Slow Ride Road Trip signing off. Thanks for tuning in.